Hello, and welcome to Universe Sandbox 2. So, I have a suggestion asking to replace the sun with a black hole. Now, I think I've done this before. I think I did it in a viewer special, though. I don't think it ever got its own video. And there's also been cases where I've done it for uh, other experiments, such as orbiting the solar system around UIS Katai. Or it might have been VY Canis Majoris. But, uh,. I just kind of wanted to make a video to kind of show what would happen, because I think some people kind of assume that black holes are just giant vacuum cleaners, pretty much. But in reality, they kind of behave like any other object in our universe. Here, let me show you. Let's go ahead and slow down time, and let's go ahead and pause time. And let's try to get our grid up real quick. Detach ourselves from the sun, and let's remove the sun. Now, in the game, they already have a preset black hole that is one mass of the sun. If we place it as a still object roughly where the sun is, or was, everything should essentially be fine in our solar system. Go ahead and hit play and see what happens. Now, there are some things worth noting. This black hole is not really emitting much heat apart from basically hawking radiation as it kind of evaporates away because it's not really pulling in any other stars or any mass to actually feel the black hole. So eventually it's gonna kind of just evaporate away. But some interesting things are gonna happen to our planets. Mostly the fact that since this is not actually illuminating or any solar radiation or anything like that, it's not gonna actually warm our planets. So Earth is going to turn into a snowball. And you can see that the surface is freezing over. You can see it a lot better in this thumbnail here. If I go to, I think, motion, to disable the rotation, which it's still actually rotating as far as the game's parameters are concerned, but it lets us visualize it a little bit better. So as you can see, Earth is slowly freezing over. But all the orbits should mostly be very close to the same. The only, uh, reason why I say close to the same, it should be exactly the same, but I don't think I placed a black hole exactly where the sun was. I just placed it kind of roughly where it was. But for the most part, the semi-major axis is 0 0.996, so it's not too far off from where it used to be. But as you can see, Earth kind of turned into a snowball. And essentially that's what would happen if uh, the sun was replaced with a black hole. Again, I don't know where people get the idea where, that the that a black hole is going to be like a vacuum cleaner and just kind of pull everything in. In fact, I'll show a good example of that. First, let's check the temperature of Venus. Still very warm. That's going to take a while to cool down. But we can grab a black hole that's a lot bigger than the sun and get that desired effect. So there's one that's equivalent to 100 suns. Now let's just kind of watch what happens. Things are going to fall exactly into it. A lot of things are going to be thrown out and shredded in the Roche limit, as you can see there. Mercury was shredded, Venus is shredded. Even then, it's still kind of hard to actually make things fall into a black hole. Everything kind of wants to just miss and stay in a very, very eccentric orbit. It's kind of the same principle with the sun. Actually, it takes a lot of force to be able to launch something into the sun. It's actually very difficult to... Let's say we sent out a spacecraft, it would be very difficult to actually make that fall into the sun because when a rocket takes off, it's still moving at the velocity that Earth is orbiting around the sun. So in order to actually fall into the sun, you must cancel out the velocity of the speed that Earth is actually orbiting around the sun, which is a very difficult thing to actually do. And the same principle goes for a black hole. It's actually very difficult to make something fall into a black hole because everything still wants to orbit around it, and when they pass by really close, it kind of slingshots them out and makes their orbit very eccentric, and launches them pretty far out into the solar system. Now, the simulation is basically lagged up because there's too many particles. I can actually go to power and remove those. Let's delete all dust and particles. That includes all the asteroids out in the Kuiper Belt. And even then, it's still lagging up, because these planets are still orbiting around and shredding up at this black hole. But, there you go, that's kind of an example of what would happen if a black hole replaced our sun. 
Anyways, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this, but until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video.